Okay, we have a problem from CSR NET 2023, which says that, which states that GBA group of order 2023, which of the following statements are true? G is abelian, G is cyclic, G is simple, G is not a simple group. Okay, to solve this question, we will use silo third theorem. If you are not aware of Silo Search Theorem, just look at this, read this, pause the video and read it. Okay. Now, first of all, to use the Silo Third Theorem, we need to factorize 2023 first. And we can, you can just observe this, we can write it as 7, 7 into 17 square. This is a factorization of 2023. Okay. Now what next? We have G a group whose order is 2023 and we can write it as 7 into 17 square. So it is has it has a silo 7 group and will it have a silo 17 subgroup subgroup okay so we are interested now what is the number of this is number of silo 7 subgroup how many are, are they and from the silo third theorem these are of the form 7k plus 1 and they also divide 2023 Okay, to make this simple, 7k plus 1 must divide 17 because 2023 is 7 into 17 square and 7k plus 1 can never divide 7 because it's always co prime to 7. These numbers of the form 7k plus 1 are always co prime to each other and so if 7 clip plus 1 if have to divide 2023 it must divide 17 I'm getting my point 7 number of silo subgroup we denoted by n7 which are of the form 7k plus 1 this is from the silo third theorem and, and this also must divide 2023 the order of the group this is also from the silo third theorem and as the order of groups is 7 into 17 square 7 clay plus 1 is always co prime to 7 so it must divide 70 so all we need to check is 7 k plus 1 is there exist a k k such that 7 k plus 1 divide 70 let us take k is equal to 1 it will be 8 8 doesn't divide 17 what else 7 uh, 2 if we take 2 it will be 15 15 doesn't divide 17 and further it will not divide 17 so only k so thus thus there is only one silo 7 subgroup let us denote it by h okay and we know that from silo second theorem consequences corollary that a unique silo subgroup is a normal subgroup is a normal subgroup thus thus H is a normal subgroup now similar way in a in a similar way
we can show that the silo 17 subgroup is also a normal subgroup let it be k now we can write hk is equal to g first of all since h and k are normal thus hk is a subgroup of g moreover hk order is h times k divided by h intersection k okay but h intersection k is only e h intersection k is a singleton e only because h ha, h is a, a silo 7 subgroup so it is a 7 order subgroup each element has add or order 1 or 7 and k is a silo 17 subgroup so it is of order 17 squared so every element has order either 1 17 or 17 square so they cannot have any common element other than e so this is e so its order is 1 therefore h k order is h order into k order this will be equal to 7 into 17 square and this will be the order of g thus using this we can say that h k is equal to g g is equal to h k g is equal to h k and this is isomorphic to h plus k the direct product uh, this is a theorem which says that if uh, h and k are normal subgroup and h intersection k is equal to e then h k is isomorphic to h plus k the direct product okay now we have g is isomorphic to h h plus k this is a seven order subgroup this is a 17 square order subgroup. 7 order su subgroup is always abelian. 17 square being a p square group is always abelian. Thus, that direct product of two abelian group is abelian. Hence, G is abelian. This is the first point and uh, this is a cyclic group but this may not be cyclic group so g may not be cyclic and it has a normal subgroup so g is not simple So we have shown that G is abelian always. G may not be cyclic. G is abelian, G may not be cyclic and third G has normal subgroup. Hence, G is not simple.
now we come to the question so g is an abelian group this is correct this may not be correct g is a simple group this is wrong four so answer is first comma fourth 